Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and today we're back in the Redstone series where I talk about the various redstone components and show you the ins and outs and the tricks with working with them and today we're going to go over the redstone torch. This little thing uh, gets missed a lot and it's a very powerful piece of the redstone tool set. But before I get started, I want to say thank you everybody for the comments and the likes on this video series and my other video series. Those have been fantastic. Thank you so much. And also to those of you who are new here, please take a moment and subscribe while you're here. If you like these videos, it'd be great to get those notifications of the videos that I do produce. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. It really does help the YouTubers. All right. So today we're going to start out right now at nighttime because I want to go over something that I don't think people talk about very much and that is the light levels with torches okay so I've got here two sticks okay and we're gonna put one with coal and that's how you make a regular torch usually people know that and to make a redstone torch you use a stick in redstone and there you go okay so we got two torches now I want to show you the light levels okay well, if I put a torch right here on this block in just a second you'll see right now over here on the left side you see it says light 15 15 sky zero block normally mobs could spawn here and you put a torch down and when you do that the light level of this block is 14 and then as you go away it goes down see it's eight seven six five four three two one and zero so this torch is no longer affecting at this point okay now monsters can spawn below seven so at this point on out technically a monster could spawn but not this close and that's why you put torches down to kind of secure your area now, most people don't know this, but redstone torches do provide light, but it starts at seven, which means even though you can see, monsters can still spawn. So if you really need to like light up a mob farm or something like that where you want mobs to spawn, but you need to see, redstone torches are a great alternative because it lets you see, but yet it doesn't stop them from spawning. So you can see it's at seven as you go out, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero shorter distance for that that's the first thing i want to talk about now let's go show you where you can find redstone torches in the real world now i know i just said the real world i meant the game world <laughs> i know people are going to comment about that but the place where you can really find redstone torches if you need to i don't know why you wouldn't need to because you just mine for redstone get sticks but in case you're trying to do it without mining maybe you're in some sort of hardcore challenge or something you can find redstone torches in igloos okay so this is an igloo here and if we go inside here, you can see that there's a bed and crafting table and a furnace, but you also have a redstone torch. See that? That's fantastic. So if you need to get that, you just, you know, hit it. There you go. And you can grab the torch. I just destroyed it. And uh, away you go. You know, you have your torch. So that's basically the only place that I know of that redstone torches naturally generate. Placing of a redstone torch is pretty easy. Just go right onto where you want to put it and you just, you know, right click and there it is. Yeah, as you can see there, I can place it on glass or grass, I mean. You can place it on the sides of blocks like that, and you can place it on the tops of blocks. You can never place it on the bottom of a block. It cannot happen. So sides and top. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now, there are situations, though, where you can only place on top only. I can place a torch right here. Now, see that shifting, I mean, sorry, pressing the right mouse button opens that up, but if I press shift, I can put a torch on top. But even with shift, I cannot put a torch on the hopper. See, it always goes to someplace else, but you can put one on top if necessary. You can put one on top of fences. See that? But if you try to put those on the side, it won't let that happen. So only on the top for those. And again, only on top for glass, for upside down slabs, and for upside down fen or, um, stairs. But if you try to put those on the side, it always goes in front, okay? And obviously, if you have stairs and things, you can't put it on there. It would then put it down on the ground. So there are rules to what you can place and how you can place the, t the torches. And you gotta follow those and know what they are to make your redstone builds great. Okay, so torches are active unless the block that they are attached to is powered, in which case they deactivate, okay? Kinda like toggles them off. So if I take this repeater here, and I'm going into the block, the block is not powered, but as soon as I power this repeater, it'll power up the block. And you see the torches went out, okay? So remember, a powered block that it's on, torches are out. If they're not on, or the repeater's not on, powering the block, the power block is not powered, the torches are on. Now, this is not the same thing for all those other blocks that had like the one way where you had to only put on the top. If I try to power this right here, you can see it does stay on, okay? And that's something you need to know too. 
one of the benefits of redstone torches is they can be used as power sources. So if you put a redstone torch next to a redstone dust line, it powers it to full 15 all the way down. You can see this is 15 blocks. This is where it gets down to power level zero. And the next block, if I put a piece of redstone on here, it would then not be powered, okay? So putting it right next to that work does that. Now, if you put it in front of a repeater, it also goes to 15. It's got full power. And the same thing for a comparator, it goes to 15. And then if you put it underneath a block, it powers it up all the way to 15. So there's lots of power that can come from just a single redstone torch. It can also be used to power blocks. So here we have a, this is a dispenser, there's a dropper and there's a piston. And you can see here, I it powered off that, fired off some blocks and of course the piston will fire. So redstone torches can be used to power various items and also to make the signal strength up to the full length of 15. Another interesting thing about powering blocks, the redstone torch will not power a block that it's attached to. So you can see here, it did not fire, okay? There you hear the fire when it's not attached, okay? Same thing with here with this, you can see that? There it is. But interestingly, the piston, you can put the torch on it, but you cannot put it on the side. And of course, it then attaches to the block down here and fires. So that's kind of a little bit of an odd case. And the same thing, you would think the redstone lamp would get power, but no. See that? So if you put it by the block in front of it, it powers on. So there are little powering quirks that you have with the redstone torch. One of the most common uses of the redstone torch is to invert a signal. So a redstone signal. So if the signal is on, a redstone torch can be used to turn it off. And if you recall what I said here, that if you had a block, okay, and you have redstone going into that block, okay, and let's have a torch out here, okay? There's a torch, it's right there, it's on because this is off. And remember I said that you can use redstone to power. Now the power is on, this torch turns off, okay? Do you see that? So now here's something you can do. As an example, let's say you have this, see how it's providing power to this line, and we have a redstone lamp. It's on. But if I power this line right back here, the torch turns off and the redstone lamp turns off. So it inverts the signal from whatever state it is, on to off or off to on. And that's a very useful mechanic because then you can start to use things like torch towers where you put a block on top. And so it's powering this block, which means that torch has to be off. And so this is a way that you could actually raise redstone signals up called a torch tower. So we'll do one more here. Let's see if I can get this on here. There we go. And let's say you were going, you were up here and you want to put a block on top, which was a lamp, okay? Not in the way. Ah, there we go. So it's off, right? And if I hit this right here with a torch, see it lights it up. Now each torch has a little bit of a delay. Oops. But you can see that works. The signal gets transmitted up the tower because it's inverting, it's just flipping. It's a very useful technique for using with redstone torches. There are some other things that you can do with redstone torches like locking hoppers and that sort of thing. And I will talk about that when I get to those particular things. So that's really all there is for this episode about redstone torches. Now I just wanna show you, I made up a little device here. This is basically another repeater clock. But one side, when it comes through, powers this, it's gonna turn on or off this, this lamp. And around the same time, this will be the opposite of that torch. So I'm gonna sort of start it up. And this is a pretty neat technique also, if you ever need to, you can start and then take it out and you can see it starts the cycle of power. Okay, and there we go. One lights on, one lights off. Isn't that kind of cool? So you can do little things with redstone to make really big projects. And the redstone torch typically is an integral part of any big build. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for for this episode. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That's very important. And again, if you're new here, please subscribe. It only takes a minute and it really does help me out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.